The Big E Draft Horse Show is September 21st through the 28th. I've caught up with Ned, the manager of the Hallamore Clydesdales. Look at these beauties. Ned, what does that job entail? Oh, it it's, covers a wide swath, I'll tell you that much. There's a lot to it, and uh, it's a big commitment time, and it's a big financial commitment for the company to maintain these horses. How many horses are in the team? We use an eight-horse hitch, and we appear uh, basically for exhibition purposes. We do not compete, per se, in the competitions. Uh, people have asked me, are they show horses? And I say, no, they're show-off horses. What will you be doing with them here at the Big E? Uh, we perform most every day in the daily parade, and then occasionally we have them in the uh, Coliseum and do a demonstration drive. Now, I saw you under hoof when I first walked in. You serve as a farrier as well to this team? Well, not literally, but I'm competent of shoeing one of these, but we actually have a younger fella does most of it. But occasionally if a shoe gets loose or comes off, I'm fully qualified to put it back on. So you would be the in case of emergency? In case of emergency, exactly. Tell us a little bit about what it takes to get your team ready to go show off. Well, it starts early in the morning. The horses are fed about 5 in the morning and starts with stall cleaning and exercise. Their walk daily for about a half hour, 45 minutes each. And then the grooming, they're all curried. And we actually use a vacuum cleaner on these giant horses. It's just like doing a big rug in a sense. And then each day the long white hair around their lower legs and the stockings have to be washed. And then later in the day, of course, they get the braids and the ribbons and everything that you've seen many times with these type of horses. Braid their manes, braid their tails, etc. Once that preparation is complete and they're ready to go out, how long are they out in a parade or hitched up and performing? Yeah, here at the Big E, uh, once the horses are all teamed up and hooked to the wagon, we're probably only in harness about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes depending on the length of the parade it's not too bad they got a pretty good deal going actually so it's really a lot of preparation and uh, deconstruction after the fact oh yeah it's a lot of work for not too much time in fact um, actually when we do a demonstration drive in an arena situation that only lasts about 10 minutes so <laughs> well this big beautiful boy is majestic and i think i'm in love do you have a favorite ned uh, my favorite's not here. He actually, uh, more recently, he had a uh, little bit of heart issue. These horses can get things just like humans. He had an irregular heartbeat, which was able to be corrected by veterinary procedure. But they, uh, they cautioned us not to put the horse back to work for a few more weeks. So he's at home. This particular horse named Windsor is my favorite, and he's not even here. But, yeah. What type of conditioning do you do with the horses? Any type of cross-training that preps them? Uh, for their job here? Well, only in the sense that sometimes uh, we put them on a heavier load than they would be accustomed to just pulling the weak wagon on the street. Even though the wagon's quite large that they pull in the parades, it's about 8,000 pounds. It rolls, rolls quite freely on a hard blacktop, and it's really not a lot of work for them at all, particularly eight of them. So at home, sometimes we put them on a, what we call a dead load, in other words, like a sled with runners and just drags across the ground and it's quite quite a bit more effort for the horses but it helps build their muscles and their condition and keeps them in good shape. Are these horses ever ridden under saddle? Not these specific ones. I have seen people ride Clydesdales or other draft breeds and certainly you could. Uh, I'm not a great fan of that other than maybe to do it for a lark or just something to do you know but as far as doing it uh, purposefully We've developed these different breeds of horses for different applications, and of course there's several, several breeds of riding horses that are ideally suited for riding, but yes, you can in fact ride a Clydesdale. Are Clydesdales purebred? Are they registered with a pedigree and family recording that, that makes them more suited for this than other disciplines? Uh, yes and no. Uh, there, there are some that are uh, of the pedigree stock and then some that aren't, that are uh, certainly Clydesdale horses too, but it's just the owners or whatever didn't bother keeping up with the paperwork and stuff, so technically they don't have uh, pedigree, but um, I guess, I don't know what an analogy would be in humans, but you can imagine it's just a matter of just not keeping the records. How does Hallamore select their Clydesdales? 
We would only buy a horse at least two years of age because by then we get a better idea how they're going to turn out as a mature horse. There's so many variables. Sometimes you can see a young foal that's quite handsome and as they mature they get less and less so or you can occasionally even see a ugly duckling like a young foal that's kind of awkward and homely and turns out to be a magnificent horse. So we don't risk that and we do not raise any of these. We buy these from breeders all over including the United States, Canada and the UK, that's England and Scotland and the Clydesdale is in fact originally a, a Scottish breed and we're looking for size, color, temperament and these sort of things. At first glance they all look huge. Do you try to size them with within an inch or two of one another? Uh, not that close. Uh, it's tradition in a big hitch like this that the wheel team, that's what we call the team closest to the wagon, is the biggest. And ours stand over 19 hands tall, so they're about, in uh, regular terms, about 6'5 six, six or 6'6 six, six at the withers. That's here at the shoulder. And fully eight or more feet to the top of their head. And then they get a little bit smaller as we go forward in the team and down to a little over 18 hands. When can our viewers at home see the Hallamore team hitched up? Uh, they perform daily in the 5 o'clock parade at the fairgrounds here. Well, Ned, thank you very, very much. And for those of you watching at home, September uh, 25th to the 28th is the Big E Draft Tour show. If you can't make that, come out any day and see the hitch uh, doing their stuff.